so it's the day after the 4th of july monday we're coming back here because we had success the last time we were out here macros are starting to come out we heard there are signs of big bonita of course they're skittish they're not hanging around i'm sure like last year but they're passing through in bigger sizes and i've heard reports of halibut being out here so people catching legos so it's heating up this is about the time last year where i was starting to catch a whole bunch of fishes a whole bunch of macros and bonita this time last year so let's see it's low tide right now so i don't know it's not gonna it might not be too good right now until high tide but we're not gonna stick around till high tide it's about five o'clock it's about 10 11 o'clock right now we might stay till about two hopefully we can still catch some fish I got my big setup here. This thing will catch yellowtails right here. Short rod, but real powerful. I've caught yellowtails on this before. I hardly use this only for the boats, but I'm going for stingray or bat ray. So I'm using mackerel and this. circle hook so I'm going for something big here four ounce weight put a dropper loop rig so yeah going for something big and this thing will take on any size fish 50 pound bat ray no problem shark I'll take them all on with this rod so I'm very confident in this little thing and I caught a yellowtail with this my first yellowtail yeah it did real good you took it on with no problem a little bit under 20 pound yellow tail let's see why they coming fishing for a mackerel again now unfortunately my tip broke my rod my favorite rod the one i always use somebody in my household broke it not gonna say who but that tip is broken so I just had to cut off the rest of it should be fine now look, look so I'm fly lining Wait, once again that? confident we're gonna catch something oh, look, look first one another calico bass just like last time Flip the hook over and then it go. So little calico bass number two. Hopefully this one doesn't doesn't catch me. Come on dude, stand still. There you go. So number two, Benjamin. Third little calico. You <laughs> don't sting, it's right in stinging distance. I got a 
find my pliers, man. These things, things are gonna get me. I gotta find my good pliers when we get home. Look at that. What was that? Oh, I got off. What was that, number four? That was a bigger calico bass. Bigger but still small. I was just playing with it here. That's four calico bass hooked up. I could have brought it up, but. Oh, look, it's right there still. Look, you see it? It's bigger than the other three. So it's fun little fish to catch. That's good to see a lot of little calico bass out here. Now, when they get bigger. And there is big ones out here too. I think guys pull out some big ones. And more than 18, maybe 20 inch spear fishermen, speared one. And sometimes they'll just walk around, they'll just swim around right here just looking at you. So you never know what's out here. Five. Your calicos are biting today. Five calico bass. How bad? Hiding it. Get bit. Probably more calicos. There it goes. You got his hit. Oh yeah, you saw that? You saw it take it? Yeehaw! Oh got uh six six calicos. Yeehaw, these guys are biting. There's a lot of little calico bass out here. Six calico bass. Crabs fighting for dominance over here. No, these aren't giant fish, but it's still fun to catch. Six little calicos, they're all fighting for it too. I can see them. Look at all the pieces of bread I have. I'm gonna throw it. Oh, he got it, he got it. There he goes. <laughs> What's that, seven? seven? Seven. Seven, there's a lot of these little guys now. Broke that piece. Seven calico bass. It's in, it's in a like it's just a few minutes. Oh, fell in the net. Oh, that's a good net. I'm jumping again. I can see it. I can see it. He's right there. Oh, he had it. Let it go. Ah, he's chasing it. Floating down here, there's one looking at it. There's one looking at it, and he's about to take it. There he goes, took it. Number eight. What's that, number eight, Benjamin? Huh? Number eight? What? Number eight. Man, they're out here like rats. There's a ton of them. That's good to see. Bunch of babies. I don't even want to touch them. Just get the hook out of their mouth. And they're back in. Yeah, just a little piece. Look at, look at what I'm catching it with. Just a tiny hook and just that little piece of skin of a mackerel. It's right here, and it's gonna flow all the way down there along the rocks and entice all the little calico bass to bite. Ah, This one so far, number nine, Benjamin. Nine. We're going for ten. 
going for number 10 here. Just a few minutes, uh, like less than an hour, catching 10. Another one. This is number 10. 10 calico bass so far. Kayaker caught something. What do you catch? I say it's a bass. Yeah, it looks like a bass. So right there is rocks and kelp. It's a good spot to fish. There's not a lot of people fishing in the rocks, hardly any. There's a lot of kayakers out. Ice cream break. Hmm? Ice cream break. So we got one, two, three snorkelers. I don't know if they're all spear fishing, but there's three of them. There's three swimmers right there. Never used to see that before. I think they've been watching my videos. Yeah, I've been seeing more spear fishermen come out here. Ever since I started doing it last year. There was like one or two that I've seen before I did, but that was a long time ago. That's cool. Hook, hooked on. Uh, pretty nice size, not too big. What is it? Oh yeah, nice bass. Yeah. Too small. Oh, look, he had a hook on his belly. Had a hook on his belly. This thing had a hook on his belly from before. Somebody got hooked him. I guess it came off. Let's see if I can help him. Had that old rusty hook in him. So this might be about 12 inches or so. Benjamin.